We all know by now what social distancing is, right? The act of keeping a certain distance from others in order to prevent the spread of a contagious disease. We also know that it can be pretty boring when we are forced to do it several months in a row. So today, guys, we're going to try to add just a little fun to these measures. We're going to make the social distancing cocktail. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. The social distancing is a cocktail I created in order to be able to share it with your friends while still respecting social distancing rules. So what inspired me this cocktail, it's quite a long story, so bear with me guys. First, many classic cocktails were created and named after special events that happened throughout the history, and that's the case of the 12 miles limit. This cocktail was created during Prohibition, because during Prohibition there was a law that stated that you couldn't drink alcohol on all the territory of the US, all the way to 3 miles from the coast. So because of that, people started to throw parties on boats, just a little further than that, and there was a rumor that this law would be extended to 12 miles. And in response to that rumor, there's a journalist who created the cocktail and called it the 12 miles limit. So today we're not going to go in depth with the recipe of the classic cocktail. My friend David from Booze on the Rock will do it and I'm going to link his video up here. But today we're going to make a clarified version of a cocktail highly inspired by this one and because there's a mention of distance in the classic cocktail, I thought it would be perfectly relevant to call this one the social distancing. So because we're going to clarify it, the cocktail will have a very long shelf life. This will allow you to bottle it up if you want, send it to your friends, throw some Zoom parties, socialize while keeping your distance. So that being said, let's jump into the cocktail. We'll start by pouring two ounces of Plantation Pineapple Rum into a mixing glass. Then we will add one ounce of rye whiskey and one ounce of cognac. To that, you will add one teaspoon of jasmine tea and let that infuse for two hours. After that, you will add one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice and three quarters of an ounce of blueberry jam. So then in another container, you will add two ounces of whole milk and pour your cocktail over it. So now it's time to filter it. So we're gonna pour the mixture over a coffee filter. Today I decided I would follow some advices and I rinsed my coffee filter in order to get rid of the paper taste. As you probably know by now if you've been watching my videos, when you clarify a cocktail, the first drops are always a little bit cloudy. So you gotta wait for about 30 seconds up to a minute in order for the curdles to settle at the bottom of the filter and then you will pour these cloudy drops over the mixture again and that way you will get the perfectly clear cocktail at the end of the process. So all you have to do now is wait, and wait, and wait, and wait a little more until every single drop has been filtered. So now you can bottle it up, save half of it, place that in a sous vide bag, seal it, and send it to a friend you would like to share it with. And this is it guys, this is how we make the social distancing cocktail. So now all we have to do is to pour what we have left into a mixing glass. Fill our mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. And we're gonna pour it over a beautiful cube of clear ice. And we're simply gonna garnish it with a lime wheel, just like that. And this, my friend, is how you make the social distancing. So now, let's give it a try. Hmm, <laughs> this is delicious. You get a lot of fruitiness 
because of the blueberry and the pineapple rum. Then some floral notes because of the jasmine tea that pairs so well with the cognac. And then a lot of spiciness from the rye whiskey. It is delicious. It has a beautiful color. I love it. I would love to share it with you guys, but unfortunately I've made only one to share. So I will send it to my friend David from Booze on the Rocks, who's making the classic version. So he's going to be able to test and try and give you his thoughts on my version as well. So head up to his channel if you want to see it. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until until then, thank you very much again, have a great day, and see you very soon. Now, I have to go and mail this.